So if you're my age, I'm 39 now, you'll remember the spirograph. And if you're even older, you probably will too, because it goes way back. So today with the Monport 20 watt CO2 laser, I went ahead and made like a little spirograph kind of tool, well, two tools. So let's go ahead and get these out here. I needed to adjust the uh, setting just a hair, but this will do for now. See, we didn't quite get cut through all the way on some of the things. They're just a little stuck. Um, again, that's entirely on me, I guess. You know, you just never know what material you're working with. And I knew what was too much for this. So I dialed it down a little and I dialed it down a little too much. Let's just pop all these little shapes out here. What toys do you miss? Yeah, like that one's not gonna wanna come out. Well, maybe. Um, so the most nostalgic, to nostalgic toys, if I could talk for me, would be um, light bright, I kind of like the Spirograph, it was pretty cool. Oh yeah, that didn't come out very clean. Well, hopefully the other one comes out a little bit better. <clears throat> yeah, there's no way I'm gonna poke all those out. I don't have anything hard to do that with. Let me see if this pencil will work here. Oh, perfect. Ouch, those gear spurs are kind of sharp. There we go, now we're cooking with fire. Perfect. Anyway, <clears throat> I really liked the light bright when I was a kid. And I remember those things, they were these little boards and they had the pegs and then you put the beads on them, put some wax paper on and then you'd iron them and they'd melt together. I don't know, it was like one of the dumbest toys. But man, I sure did like them. I had my mother iron so many of those things. Cool. Well, let's see here. Yeah, I'm afraid those just are not gonna come out very well. I know this one is, so let's go ahead and do it. But you get the idea. We'll show you with this, and then you can imagine what the triangle was like. Again, that's not the laser's fault. That's Brian's fault. Um, I'm still learning this laser, and this is only the second or third piece of work I've done on this specific material. So, yeah. All right. Let's have some fun here. We're not going to punch all these out because you get the idea, right? No one wants to watch me punch wood out of holes for five minutes. So I just grabbed a cutting mat so I could have like a rigid surface here. Get a piece of computer paper and then let's see. Yeah, those are stuck in there pretty good. Okay. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Um, let's go with this inside one here. Yeah, let's try it with an ink pen. I think that'll fit in there. Get over here by it. This time, let's do this one. Ooh, the pen doesn't want to work as well. <laughs> I cannot keep the pen in the thing. Well, I made a mistake there. This is a gel pen, so it's smearing as I as I do it, which it does when I write. Okay, let's go back to the pencil here. Let's see if we can get this little jab out. Oh, maybe that one. 
Yeah, that one's gonna come out. Wow, that went flying. He's like, oh no! But you get the idea, right? So this is just something you can do with the laser. You can make these little things. Um, we'll probably make these for like the niece and nephews. Let's do this. Because I think I have on my wife's side alone. On my wife's side alone, I think we have 54 nieces and nephews now. So once I perfect the you know, the power and the, um, the speed, we're almost there. Then we can just go ahead and make these so they're easy to pop out. You know, we can send them to the nieces and nephews. Easy gift, real easy gift. Let's turn this over. Now let's try this. <clears throat> well, it would help if I could keep it in the thing. I remember having this much difficulty as a child too with these things. Yeah, I cannot keep that in there, guys. I am awful at this. <laughs> I didn't even keep it in for one. Oh, bless it. But then, you know, you've also got shapes on here. And let's see if we can punch that out. Um, another thing I could have done here is if I knew it was gonna do that, I could have just gone through the cuts again and had it go through, and then that would have made it fine. But then we've got a little stencil here, or uh, whatever you want to call that, and do a circle. But just a fun little craft idea for the laser. Um, if you were going to do something like role playing tabletop, you could make design some kind of stencil, and then you could you know make little paper maps and show people. If you didn't want to like do everything on the computer, you could do it right there, or you could do it behind your Dungeon Master screen while everyone's playing. You just lay out the next little path if you wanted a dynamic thing. But you can also do stuff like um, knitting gauges, uh, rulers for anything like knitting or crochet. Um, it's the first thing I did on a laser, was did that for my wife, made a little knitting and crochet gauge and ruler. And I mean, you know, just one idea of things you can do with this. I really love this laser. Again, that's all my fault that it didn't punch through well on some of these, but like, that's a pretty legit thing there. Nice sharp definition on the teeth, you know? If you were making something and you needed to prototype some parts out of wood or something, yeah, like perfect use for this laser. Anyway, there will be a link to this laser in the stickied comment and in the description. That link gets you 10% off with the code Ryan Mercer, one word. That's all down there in the doobly-doo. I will see you in the next video.